hey guys you're all welcome back to my youtube channel i know it's been a while you all have not seen me you're all welcome and Slot of today, we have a Cameroonian delicacy called Mbongo Chobi. I know so many of you already know it, um, and we might have different means of cooking it. So, I'll just show you how I do it myself. You might have different methods, but all that matters is for us to come up with something delicious, something very sweet. So, guys, just stay tuned. Let's see how our cooking of today is going to go. But before that, I'm going to present to you the different spices that we have to cook our meal and the first thing that we need is our black spices that's the bongo spices that have already been grind it uh, you can get them in any african shop you just go there and say you need bongo spices and you have this then you need um three healthy fresh tomatoes you need your tilapia fish you need your onions you need ginger you need um white spices you guys already know that this is one of my favorite spices so far you need um black pepper and then you need um jansa guys this is because <laughs> my jansa is from the fridge i'd already congelated it but for those who have it fresh it's just going to be very okay. Honestly, I'm going to make everything so no need chopping the onions into very fine small particles. That's why we have it this large. Then after this, I'll go on with my tomatoes. I'm just going to chop them as well, not very small. Well, not to be so I can easily blend. Then I'll go on with my tomatoes. I'm just going to chop them as well, not very small. Well, not to be so I can easily blend. So, guys, um, this one very important spice that you should get for this food, and that's the leeks. One healthy one will be very okay for your food, depending on the quantity that you're going to. everything put in your tomatoes your leeks your fresh garlic since I've already grind my jansa I could just include it as well and then your spice your bongo spices what some people call black stew guys and one thing that i always like to do is i clean immediately as i finish using any item in the kitchen so i'm done with this i'm going to clean it even with um this other place that i do so it's good to clean as you go while you are cooking. It's very important, please. Don't wait to finish and then you clean at the end. Clean as you go. So guys, now we're going to cut the fishes that's already been cleaned. Make sure that you clean the scales very well. As you can see that it has already been done here. It's already well clean. We're going to cut them into two. My knife wants to play funny jokes here with me. So guys, you make sure you salt your your fish um, a white pepper Ginger, little bit of black pepper, and mix. So you're going to add the mungo, um, depending on how black you want it to be. So I think this this texture is quite okay for me. But if you prefer it maybe not to be too black, 
you put it just a little bit so so guys make sure you have enough vegetable oil in your pot while you're doing this because it's very important and once the oil is very is warm or hot then you can now introduce in your onions into it Next, we we'll put in our grind spices. We put everything. The way I cook, I prefer to put the spices first before the fish so that the fish doesn't get too soft. As you can see, As you can see, look, we have uh, enough vegetable oil, but I'll actually prefer to put in the fish at the end when it's almost done so that it doesn't get too soft and maybe should get scattered in the pot. So I'm going to cook this for a while. I'll, I'll put um, my seasoning cube and then some salt. And after about 10 minutes, I'm going to put in the fish. So while we're waiting for the 10 minutes for it to cook, we go ahead to get our plantains ready. Um, you could either eat this with rice, cocoa or even cassava, depending on, on your choice. Depend it, it all depends on you guys. So, but for me, I actually love eating bogochobi with rye plantain. So. Oh, wow. wow. Mm. Smells good already. Right. Guys, check it out. Check it out. Wow. So now we're going to put in our fish. Oh, I can't wait to have a taste of this. And you let it cook. Let it cook for about 15 minutes. Since it's ripe, it's not going to take much time. And we'll come back. As the 15 minutes has already passed. And as we can see, our food is almost ready. So, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yummy, yummy. So guys, the moment of truth has come to um, we're done cooking and as you can see, it looks so de delicious. Thank you for following me all through the process. Um, if you actually liked what I did and you want to see more content, please kindly support me by just liking this video, share and please don't forget to subscribe. So see you guys for subsequent videos and ciao. So. Mm. So delicious guys actually i wouldn't have done this without the help of my friend who came over to help me record this video she's right behind the cameras baby can you say something if i beat you i want to go and eat that food i'll drop this <laughs> drop this camera jaw <laughs>